In this video, we're going to actually make our door functional. So now that we have our mesh and our animations, we're going to go ahead and set it up to play them. So if we come over here to our door.cpp, let me just reorganize this a little bit. Make it a little bit cleaner. We have our toggle door function. Now this already has a control boolean, and it's already set to play everything we need to. We just have to call it. So what we're going to do is in our line trace of our character, well, our interact function of our character where we perform our line trace, we go ahead and get the actor. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cast it first because I'm going to have a separate video where we make it work with an interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call toggle door in this, under this comment here that we made. So we're going to cast it. So if a door, door equals cast a door, and we're going to cast from actor. So we have to include our door here. Come up to the top. We're going to include. Let's do the project name. Or actually, we can just go to door.h. And now, all we have to do is door. Toggle door. And that's it. So if I go ahead and compile, we can test it out. I don't know if Hot Reload actually... Yeah, it says hot reload worked. What are the odds that it didn't? Press E, and there we go. We have our opening and closing of the door. So now what we want to do is actually uh, make this multiplayer ready. So what we're going to do is go to our door.h, and we're going to start replicating some stuff. So first off, we need to have a replicated variable. So that's going to be our Boolean. So this is going to be an on rep, so we're going to do uProperty, replicated, using, and we're going to set it equal to the function that we're going to make. So the function is going to be a u function, and we're going to call it void on rep underscore or toggled. So we're going to paste on rep door toggled inside of our replicated using just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and create the implementation of our on rep door toggled. And what this is going to do is pretty much play the corresponding animation. So what we're going to do is copy everything inside of toggle door, get rid of it, paste it inside of on rep door toggled, and move our little Boolean change right up there. And right after it, we're going to call on rep door toggled. Now I'll explain why we're going to do that here in a second, but first off, we want to make sure this only runs on the server. So if as authority, we will call our on toggle door and modify our on rep boolean. So why what's going to happen here? Well, when we call toggle door, this is going to fail if we're the client, but let's say we're the server. As authority is going to be true because again, we're the server, so we have authority over this actor. We're going to set B door open to be equal to the opposite of what it equals now. Now, what that's going to do is when an actor or a client becomes relevant to this door, it's going to say, hey, B, the value B door open that is set to replicate has changed. So it's going to automatically on that client call on rep door toggled for us, which is then going to play the corresponding animation. So that way we have the benefit of it's going to stay in sync and we have just really, it's just a simple way to handle it. So then the reason we call on rep door toggled, and that's, that's for the server. So when we change this, it's not going to run on the server. Like our on rep's not going to run. So we have to call it in order to make it run because we're having a client that's also the server. That's the only reason we actually go through and call it in this case. So next up, we actually need to set e door open to replicate. So we need our on rep, on rep life, no, on, what is it called? Void do rep lifetime. See if I can get it to come up. I do not remember what in the world it is. So get lifetime replicated props, I think. Heck, I can't remember. I'll let my auto field do it. So what is it? Void. Virtual void on rep, uh, what's it? 
I cannot remember. Get lifetime replicated props. That's what it is. And it takes an array of replicated properties. So go ahead and generate the implementation. And you can see what it looks like here. Then we just have to call super get lifetime replicated props and pass in out lifetime props to it. Now, in order to make BDOR open replicate, well, or even be able to compile at this stage, because once you set it as replicated, you cannot, or uh, you must also set it up in your get lifetime replicated props. Otherwise, you can't compile. So what we do is we do do rep lifetime. We pass in the class, which in this case is a door, and then the variable, which is b door open, like that. So we are pretty much good to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile and build it compile it sorry and because i made a change to the header i gotta reopen that so and i did a typo so it's replicated with a d not replicate and now i compile so let that go through and do its thing and are we done yet there we go let's go ahead and relaunch it okay here we are so I'm going to play with two clients. I'm going to do as a listen server and new editor windows. So you can see the other character moving around when I open on the server. We don't see it on the client. Now, even though it's set to replicate, why wouldn't it be showing up on the client? Well, there's a very specific Boolean that is inside of actors that you kind of have to set. And I'm walking you through it like this because I forgot to actually set it. But it's this little thing down here called replicates. So if I were to check this, compile it, again, just in the blueprint, we can see the door actually is being opened and closed on the client. Now what happens if I try to do it on the client? Nothing happens because we have our authority check. So this check right here is causing it to fail on the client because we are not the server. We don't have authority over our actor. Now we just have the issue of the door being out of sync. So if you recall, when I open on the client, it does its close and then, well, it does its close animation first because the booleans are out of sync. So we're going to set B door open for false. Well, not too false, but uh, the door is actually closed right now. So that's correct. So we're going to rename it to B door closed. So it makes a little more sense. And then just set it. All right, I'm getting myself backwards here. We're going to set it from false to true. Sorry. So that's going to be the default. So if I build it now, I don't know what it's complaining about. So let's go ahead and compile, and now when we do that first interaction, it should stay in sync as it's supposed to. Okay. Now let's look at it and see. So when I press E, now the door opens and closes. It doesn't start with the closing animation. So we are at a good start here. Now the problem is that doesn't actually make much sense. So B door open equals true. Well, the door is closed by default. So we want to set that to false and just change the animations that run. So I want to change this from closed animation to open animation. Change these from open animation to close animation. So place them accordingly. So that's pretty much all we're going to actually do in this video. And again, that's going to give us the exact same result. But what we need to do next in the next video is set this up so that when our client tries to use the door, let me go ahead and just build real quick. When the client goes to use the door, we want it to build up him to obviously be able to open it. We don't want the server to be the only one that can open the door. So that's where we're going to work and actually create a server RPC on our character to allow us to interact with the door from the server. So we go from client to server. And then the server opens the door, which triggers our on-rep information, like our boolean. 
and opens the door that way. So if I press E, again, nothing happens just because it fails right here. This line is just false. So that's what we're going to deal with. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description where I create a Team Deathmatch series just for my patrons, where we create it from scratch. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord down below and just ask away. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.